As this year draws to a close, I would like to take this opportunity to convey my sincerest thanks and my deepest appreciation to each and all of you who have worked and collaborated with us during 2015. To all of my staff and associates at our country offices, centers, and headquarters, I wish to say a special thank you for your continued and unstinting commitment and dedicated service to the organization. Indeed, this year has been filled with significant achievements, many changes and challenges, and regrettably with loss of life associated with some disasters. We have worked successfully with our member states and other partners to eliminate rubella and onchocerciasis. We have assisted our member states in reducing gaps in their emergency preparedness and response programs, particularly in relation to the Ebola and the chikungunya outbreaks, which occurred in 2015. We covered 60 million children and adults throughout our region with life-saving vaccines during vaccination week in the Americas. And we are currently working closely and proactively with our member states to reduce the potential negative impact of the current outbreak of Zika virus. We have supported a number of member states as they responded to a series of disasters, including hurricanes, earthquakes, mudslides, among others. In all of this, I have noted the enduring resilience and grace of the peoples of this region, even during adverse times. As we look ahead to the future, we are organizing ourselves to be optimally positioned to deliver on the new 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda and its 17 defined goals, while continuing to address our unfinished Millennium Development Goals. Throughout the year, we have worked together in that unique spirit of Pan-American cooperation with our member states, donors, partners, organizations, sister agencies, cities and communities, sharing our experiences, learning new lessons and disseminating best practices, all with the sole aim of improving the health of the peoples of the Americas. I speak for myself and all of us at the Pan American Health Organization when I say that we do look forward to continuing this vibrant collaboration to advance our common goal of health for all in the Americas during the coming years. Finally, to each and every one of you, I wish you and your loved ones a very happy and joyous holiday season and a new year that will be highly productive and filled with good health, peace, and reduced inequities.